Welcome to the Pope on Film. I am Bunny Williams, and with me is... I am the Pope in question. My name is May Reverend May Lynn. I am the founder of the Church of Ed Wood, which is an actual thing worth a Google. Happy Buntober, everyone, which is uh, my co-host, my partner in crime, Bunny's birthday month. So he gets the reins to the show for a while. And so last week we saw David Cronenberg's second movie, Crimes of the Future. And I said, man, this has to be the worst Cronenberg movie. But this week, surgery is the new sex, Bunny. Yes. So this is episode 440 uh, of the podcast, which means technically that there have been 439 episodes before this one. uh, And why would I make that up? That would be weird. Just trust us. This is the 440th episode. Uh, Very excited today. I've got a very passionate monologue that I think you'll like. Then we'll take a little break. I've got a Steve's Historic Approximations and a lot to talk about on running out the meter. And I've got a lot for this week and our film, 2022's Crimes of the Future. It, It... this week's movie, man, it's like it's like if um, George Lucas made a new movie and called it American Graffiti, but it was about the war in Yemen. Yeah. You know, like, why would you do that? Why would you do this? It just pisses me off. It really upsets me. That he just recycled a title from another movie he already did. It's not a sequel, a requel, a reboot. It's just, hey, I like this title. I'm going to use it twice. And it upsets me so much. But uh, that's for... Well, the I think that was a, a... Like I mentioned, I think, the other week, I think that that's just a, a publicity headline grab. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because it, it, it got a couple of articles done on him. Yeah. It, it, it upsets me. It just upsets me. And his last couple of movies didn't do so well, so... Yeah. What? Are you saying you're not a fan of Existence? Existence I kind of like. I kind of like this movie. Fucking okay. We'll get to this movie. We'll get to this movie. I'm not a fan. But I didn't like Cosmopolitan. That was fucking horrible. I never saw that. I never saw that. Yeah. But to be fair, everyone loves uh Robert Pattinson now. Yeah. And I feel like Cronenberg was the first person to take a chance at him and say, "Hey, you are a good actor." I think it was a, a an incredibly smart move on Robert Pattinson's so on on his behalf. I mean, like you don't get much further away from Twilight and Edward Cullen, yeah. than doing a Cronenberg flick. Absolutely, absolutely, that was a smart. Uh... And apparently, he's told Kristen Stewart about it. <laughs> yeah, right. Bunny! Yes. According to some random chud on Apple Podcasts, this show is nothing but left leaning <laughs> trash. Yep. Hooray! We're left leaning trash. Yep. And I'd, I'd like to think that we make good on that review. Oh, yes. This is, this show is some pretty left leaning. Trash. Donald Trump is an idiot. I don't think we're leaning. We're flat out laying down, man. Nice. We're not left leaning. We're left laying. Yeah. Yes, Mal? Is there something that you wanted to bring up? Because you're standing right here off to the side. And Um, what's up? Misto had the zoomies. Okay, the cat had the zoomies. And we're running around. And I had baby in the room, too. He was trying to attack him. 
and then jumped all around over the walls, spilled my coffee, and now your inhaler might smell like coffee for a while. Uh, you you spilled coffee on my inhaler. Okay. Okay. I didn't you just made a caffeinated inhaler. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. It got so extremely close to the Wi Fi, though. And then... uh, if anything, you probably made it faster ah, yeah, by covering it in coffee. Yeah. So, wow. Now we have fiber rich, five gig internet. Yeah. Like they're always telling us about. Yeah. So, this podcast isn't left leaning trash. It is left laying down trash. Donald Trump is an idiot and a con artist, and if you voted for him, you're gullible, and you would most definitely fall for the Jedi mind trick. Uh, Because a reality show host and part-time rapist tricked you into voting against your best interest. However, I like to think that in our own decidedly non-libertarian way, because a libertarian is just a conservative who smokes weed. Yes. I'd like to think that we also give it that we also give it to Biden and the Dems almost as much as we do the right. Yeah. Not as much, but almost as much. Not equally. We don't attack both sides equally because right now in the year of our Lord 2022, one political party wants to round up all the gays and the trans people, all the foreigners and the minorities strip away their rights and execute them and then burn the U.S. Constitution and install a violent power hungry dictator while the other side is just stupid. Yes. We in a sexual. That's the thing about Biden and such, you know, like they have to actually do something in order to be able to attack them. Yeah. Yeah. And so rarely do they do anything. Yeah, like, I'm all for helping those less fortunate, but in order to change things in our society, you actually have to try. Yes. And change. And the Dems just don't want to seem to change anything. At all. I mean, Joe Biden couldn't make abortion legal right now if he wanted to, but he doesn't, so he isn't. Right. And this past week, the headline screamed, Biden pardons people with weed possession and all that, but most of the people that are currently incarcerated for marijuana possession are being held at the state level and not at the right. federal level. And he pardoned federal prisoners. In fact, in Mississippi this summer, their state Supreme Court upheld a life sentence for a man who was convicted of having less than two ounces of pot. Yes. Two ounces. Biden didn't save that person. Biden only you know, pardon people at a federal level and not the state level. And Biden's edict does nothing for those people. And again, just like a, a abortion, Joe Biden could release all of those people right now if he wanted to. He could make legal, he could make weed legal right now if he wanted to, but he doesn't, so he won't. Yes. And And now the news is saying that few Americans have gotten the new COVID booster shot ahead of the projected upcoming winter surge. Right now, only 4% of eligible Americans have gotten their booster. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why people aren't getting the booster. Well, maybe it's because our elderly president is on national TV telling people the pandemic is over. Yeah. No, it's not. You've Freaking senile jackass. I'm just sick and tired of old white men running our entire nation. Old, rich white men. Yes. You know? Uh-huh. Old, rich, top 10% of all wealth in the nation. Senile, old white guys almost exclusively run this supposed democracy. I'm just... I, I I hate that. But I also have a hard time saying that because when I say that, it's sort of, you know, uh, like uh, breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> it's the one thing that Republicans and I have in common. Yes. Like the song Breakfast at Tiffany's is, is what I was 
I, I used to sing. Uh, it, I would sing the song Breakfast at Tiffany's at karaoke, but I would change the movie to Plan 9 from Outer Space. Okay. And I said, what about Plan 9 from Outer Space? So, it, it was a lot of fun. It Call me crazy, but this is what I think. I think that if you're deemed too old and too decrepit to work at a McDonald's, you should also be too old to be the president of the United freaking state. Yes. I 100% believe this. Biden's too old. Biden's too old. But it's difficult to say that out loud without sounding like another hey, 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 angry, bigoted, America first a-hole Trump supporter because Biden is too old. Biden is senile. That's straight out of a Sean Hannity transcript, you know? Yeah. But it's true. Yeah, it, I I did some I did some looking into it's, this. It's you a know? stutter. Didn't you get the memo? It's a stutter. Yeah. Stutter. You know how old Joe Biden is, Bunny? Uh when like he nine or some shit, isn't he about to be ninety? 79 he's about to be 80 and they don't want to make a big deal about it because oh. it, like specifically people within the white house are trying to like not make a big deal about the president's birthday because that's a huge number and it's going to scare people so they're trying to pretend like he doesn't have a birthday this year My friend future told me about his age yeah he's 79 Wait. joe biden is so old when he was born casablanca just came out yes Casa freaking Blanca. That's effing old. Yes. Biden is as old as here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> but here's where we differ, uh, where our podcast, our left leaning trash podcast, differs from the Hannity's and the Joe Rogan's of the world. All of the Republicans will be like, yeah. Biden's way too old. Biden's senile. And it's like, yes, I agree with you, Republicans, but your guy's effing old, too. Yeah. Trump is also way too old to be freaking president. He is only 40 months younger than Biden. And really, that's not much younger than great, great grandpa Joe. No. So I looked it up. I looked it up. Okay. So, so Trump is exactly as old. I was trying to figure out ways to say, oh, Trump is this old, Biden is this old. So this is a film podcast. Trump is exactly as old as the as Frank Capra's film, It's a Wonderful Life. And you know who was in that? Alfalfa before he was killed. Yes, this is true. That is equally way too old to be president. We've got It's a Wonderful Life saying Casablanca is too old. When you look at it that way, okay. Yeah, Biden's <coughs> old. So is Trump, though. <coughs> to put it in a cinematic perspective, I'm really proud of this. Okay, okay, buddy? I'm really proud of this. Biden is as old as the movie Casablanca. Uh... Trump is as old as the Marx Brothers parody A Night in Casablanca. Okay. Those are both too old. Yes. Get rid of them all. Clean sweep. And it's not just those two fossils, too. And I'm really sorry about this. It's not those, it's not just those two fuddy duddies. Bernie Sanders was born. The same year as the first appearance of Captain America. <laughs> Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? That is ridiculous. And in a recent speech, Bernie Sanders warned Democrats, quote, not to focus solely on abortion ahead of the midterms. Bernie, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't think that the, I don't think that helps anybody. Bernard 
Sanders. We'll finish the thought. What? Don't solely do, but then do what? We should be pointing out the fact that the Republicans took away a woman's right to choose and focus on that. Oh, yeah. But what what do you want to focus on? The jobs numbers? That's not going to do anything. Do you want to focus on how gas is 40 cents cheaper now? That's not going to help. We've got an issue that can that we can ride the entire way home. Mm-hmm. Like either help us or shut your mouth. I love Bernie Sanders. He's an anthropomorphic beef jerky stick, and he's, he needs to get his, <laughs> he needs to get his shit together. All of these rest home rejects need to take their hands off of the steering wheel of the United States of America. Um, it, it, and here's the thing I hear from a lot of, of people uh, that, oh you're being ageist right? but I, I feel that the term ageist you don't really hear that about old non-white people <laughs> bless you thank you I got that if one. there's an, it, it, an old black woman an old Mexican, an old Asian person, an old white person. Whoa, whoa, you're being ageist. <laughs> so I have the I have a problem with the problem of ageism. Is there a problem, Mel? No. But did you get anything off of the burger? I, I ordered a baconator. I didn't get anything off of it. Okay. I kept everything on. Okay. Here you go. We got Wendy's. Yeah. Oh. I I I never got over the fact that like Oh, Dave Thomas, the founder of Wendy's. For a while he made himself the Colonel Sanders of Wendy's fast food. He was yes, everywhere. He you saw him everywhere. He was the face of Wendy's. And And he was a cute sweet old guy. Yeah. But he had the same name as a famous Canadian actor and comedian. Yes. And that always bugged me. Yes, he did. It's like if all of a sudden you see, hi, welcome to Carl's Jr. I'm elderly white Christian founder Eugene Levy. <laughs> you know, like that's weird. But anyway... Age limits would solve everything with our po political system, but no one will vote for that. So here's my plan to solve things, Bunny. I have a plan to solve everything. All American politicians will be, fo will be forced to take the presidential physical fitness test. <laughs> You want to be a senator? Okay, Orrin Hatch. 92-year-old Orrin Hatch. 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups. Do the monkey bars, and then I want to see you climb this freaking rope. Oh my god, right? I, 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 I have a bit of a different take here. Hey, okay. what do you got? That... If after the after their four year term, the country is not in a significantly better place, then we just shoot that president and go on to oh. the next one. My God, see, listen, I was really thinking like public hanging, public execution style. So, Bunny, thank you for saying it. Yeah, you. Thank you. I was thinking just. Just every four years, uh, well, death race. Like, if we did a public execution type thing, we can do it in an arena. People can buy tickets. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then the profits could go towards something, you know, to improve the rest of okay. the world. Like, America or something. You know what I'm saying? I just had like, one. Like profit uh, profitable. Profitable. So that, profitable. That's profitable. how they say so it in England. we can donate that to, like, charity or help yeah. in hunger or something. Because I guarantee you all those motherfuckers. Uh, and we sell, you, you want to be a rich person and you want to see this execution? You have to pay, like, $10 million. Oh, you broke? 
You broke? All right, here. You found a penny on the street? Cool. Here you go. You get a seat right up front, bitch, because yeah. you're the ones that are affected the most. There, I'm thinking of now of so many cinematic ways that we can handle this. Uh, this is what we do for every single solitary Senate race. Uh, we don't vote on them. We make them saw it out. Hunger Games. Hunger no, Games. not Hunger Games. No, we saw it. Like uh, two uh, congressmen wake up in a dirty bathroom. Hello, senators. Oh, my God. I want to play a game. And it's like, <laughs> hey, cut off a pound of your butt meat and put it on this. <laughs> Put it on this drawbridge to raise the portcullis, and then something that we do every four years, kind of like leap year or elections and shit. Uh, it, it's it's essentially like we can plan it ahead of time, right? So we have people pay money to be able to vote on the next way that they die, you know. And and again, it would be based on income. So if you're a rich person and you want to have any say in that, you have to pay X amount of dollars. As opposed to like the sliding scale where, oh, no, you're a poor person. You can vote for free. So, nice. okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then uh, you would have like four years to figure out what the next one was going to be in to vote on it and yada, yada, yada. Yeah. And raise money again for a good cause. Like, I don't see any issue with this. It would definitely uh, limit motherfuckers from running for office, too. Yeah. You and know? the group who was least served and possibly even harmed by that president should be the ones who get to elect a representative to be the assassin. Ooh, nice. nice. Yes, I love that. And if they have a disagreement, then they can put it up to a vote within their own community. Yeah. Here, here's, here's another idea. Here's a, I, vote assassin. Okay. While you were talking, I came up with two other ideas on how to solve the aging problem in politics. Number one, oh, we 100... Oh. <laughs> we 100 percent switch the rules between electing president and the Miss America pageant. Ooh. So when it comes to like voting on Miss America, it takes like two years and there are debates. But when it comes to president, OK, it's time for the swimsuit competition. <laughs> OK, OK. Uh, uh, Mitt Romney, what's your talent? Nice. Mitt Romney, I got some questions here. If you were a tree, what's your favorite day of the year? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I really like that. Oh, what was the other one that I came up with? Ah, oh, I forgot it. Dang it. Uh, Miss America, what was the other one that I came up with while you were talking? Oh, I totally no, forgot. I totally forgot. Look, I think that this is a movement we can all. This is a. I, I really like this and, movement. I mean, it, seriously, think about it. If this was legit, then people who are running for office would think twice oh. about running for office. I remembered. I remembered what I came up with. Instead of having uh, any political candidate spend an ins obscene amount of money, and that's one thing that I hate in the news is that they'll literally say, "Oh, instead of." Instead of focusing on people want to vote for this candidate instead of this other candidate, a lot of times the media will focus on, ooh, here's how much money this candidate has, and here's how much money this candidate has. We pass a new law. You want to run for any political office? Good luck. You spend nothing. Oh, zero dollars. Get them You're not allowed ads. You're not allowed shit. How are you going to run for president now? Genuine homegrown. Yeah. Like genuine 100 percent. Like no one can buy ads. No one can order an ad on the paper. It's just 100 percent like signs on the street corner and like. But you, to knock in yeah. You see uh, you see uh, uh, Ted Cruz doing a, a car wash <laughs> in the in the church's fried chicken parking lot. Vote for me, you know? Okay, how about this? This is so much fun. We <laughs> replace the White House floors with pressure-sensitive uh -huh. floor, floors that are in sync with your polling numbers Ooh. so that if your polling numbers fall too far, the, fo the floor collapses, drops away, and drops you into the pit of hungry tigers. 
Nice. nice. I like that. Yeah. Can I we like make that. It boars or like pigs, though? Pigs like in uh, like in Hannibal. Yeah. Pigs? There's no I can go with pigs. Yeah. Yeah. Because like if, if it's just a, a, a the pigs lion, like snatch lions don't eat the bones, you know, so yeah. like, somebody's got to go in there and clean that shit up. If Do you, you know pigs, what nemesis means? It's a yeah. self cleaning thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, here's it. When when Bunny was talking about pressure sensitive floor, what came into my mind was, oh, yes, we build the danger room. From Professor X's mansion. Nice. And we just put the presidents in there. And it's like, okay, whoever lasts the longest in the danger room, it's set to ludicrous speed. And then whoever survives the longest is our president. Uh, I thought that's where Bunny was going with it. It's not where he went, but no, that's but also another also great that. idea. Well, but then from what Tasha said, bringing up pig, Made me think like if you want to be president, we we black mirror this shit. You want to be president? Ooh, okay. You gotta fuck this pig first. Wait, well, hold on. I missed. I missed that. It was you missed that. Right. Yeah. What what what's that again, Benny? If you want to be president, you've got to fuck this pig first. Why are we doing this? Just because, <laughs> god damn it. We want to make no. sure they want the job. <laughs> he doesn't deserve this. I thought Bunny was going in a Kingsman way, <laughs> where it's like, uh, okay, you want to be a Kingsman, eh? Here's your last test. Here's the cute puppy you've been taking care of. Here Jesus. is a fucking gun. That's where I thought he was going with it. Like, it's like, you want to be president? Okay. Shoot this baby. Lick this <laughs> toilet. We need to see if you really want this. Yes. <laughs> Have sex with this gal. You can successfully penetrate this bull. <laughs> you can be president. Let's see who can give the biggest specimen. Well, but then we can then we can at least sit back, you know, and and be like, you know. He really sucks on foreign politics, but man, can he fuck a pig. And the other... Peter would be up your ass. The, the other countries would be like, we need to bomb America. We Maybe we should leave America alone. Crazy motherfucker. Uh, yeah, those weirdos. America giving the rest of the world the crazy uh, ass. We're going to let it be. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Bit scared. But yeah, I still think... Okay, but I'm still here for this public execution idea. Yeah, public execution or a... Uh, fuck it, let's just let's just Star Trek it. We give two of them both weapons, we put them in an arena. <laughs> we do that. Like in the cable guy. like a question of physical prowess and not necessarily somebody that you're gonna... You don't want to okay, okay, hold on. What was the name? 10 minute warning. Okay. What was the name of the obstacle course at the end of American Gladiators? Oh, fuck. That's how we figure out the presidency. <gasps> the Eliminator! That's how we do it. Again. We do the Eliminator. Two presidents, and hey, look up there. That's Malibu. <laughs> he's like six foot ten. He's got muscles. I... But he's too stupid to be a wrestler. So now he's going to be shooting foam balls at you. Knock him over with a giant Q-tip. Let's solve it with Japanese game shows. We'll just <laughs> we'll just oil up that ramp. Yeah, we'll just oil up that ramp. There you go. Which, whichever one of you gets up there. We finish it with the wipeout course. Every every election wipeout course. Whichever president can get past the big balls, boom. I think that's how we should just pick our candidates. Our nomination, our nominees. Ooh, yeah, we pick like yeah. 30 nominees and then there you go. We have a... Yeah, you, yeah, I think that's how we should do our yeah. nominees. Yeah. That's such a great idea. Uh, we are we full of good to, ideas. We Man, I we're the next we're this. the next political uh, minds. We are. You know? Right. Man. I'm yeah. I'm the next uh, Cargill. I'm the next... Uh, I'm the next Roger Stone. <laughs> Can you repaint what? 
Can, oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, the little boy blue in the back. I bought this. We bought this for what? Like $5? $3? Oh, yeah. $3.99 at a Goodwill. This is a little fancy lad here. This is more of a visual thing, so you really should watch us when we record on Twitch. You know what I'm thinking? Give him a David Bowie or a, or a Rocky Horror look. You know? But yeah, you can absolutely paint that. That's a great idea. Uh, yeah. So we're going to take a short break because we record this on Zoom. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you helped. I, I was already done. You helped me get through the oh. length of this. I mean, I could continue because I continue yeah if we wanted, but no, we absolutely could. But no, we've got seven and a half minutes before uh, Zoom kicks us off. So we're gonna take a short break. When we come back, it's time for Steve's historic approximations. I've we're gonna be talking about John Cougar Mellon Camp and a small town in Indiana and obsession. Obsession. Okay. Is that a perfume? No. I already told you this. The guy who with the diary. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. And then after that, we're gonna run out the meter. I've got a lot to talk about. Uh I have a lot going for myself. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I I'm showing off some cleave right now. I'm really, really proud of that. Yeah, I'm showing off a bit of cleave. I got my, I got my, I got an all natural pair uh, that I've been growing. <coughs> so, pretty excited about that. Plus, the edible should be kicking in soon. So, that's there you exciting. go. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, Max, you wanted to do some sort of an, an a transition exit. What was that we were talking before the bath. No. Okay, yes. Come come and do it. I mean, you said you remember what it was. Okay. It was Maxwell News. Okay, Maxwell's going to lead us out. This is Maxwell News, and don't you ever dare to snooze. We'll be, we'll be back after this short break with them. Breaking news. We will be right back with more of the Pope on film after this. Do 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 do